I'd say at least three different times people have said, is this like from a natural spring? Mm -hmm. like they look at it and say, It's the ultimate it's compliment here. to a builder. Right. See, your dad's got talent. Yeah. <laughs> so I see this is Ellie's garden. Mm -hmm. And so the inspiration behind here was based off of a child that yes. you lost. Our daughter Ellie, she was killed um, the day after she graduated from the University of Miami. It's a beautiful property. Thank and I'm you. glad that you were able to find some solace. Thank you. We are now in Hershey, Pennsylvania, when I see Hershey Kisses lamp lights. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is Hershey, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Hershey. On the right will be the... Uh, oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, that is so cool. We got a little golf course out here, too. Yep, that's the Hershey Country Club. I see it, and there's the Hershey plant. The chocolate plant used to be right here, but they tore it down and moved it because it was so antiquated. But they still left the original Barberry Hershey Cocoa bushes that are on your right. If you look to the right, Hershey Park, you see the roller Oh, wow. Oh yeah, cool. Feel like a kid. 11 East Chocolate Road. Cocoa, Cocoa Avenue. Avenue. Chocolate Avenue. Hey, very fun. The Hershey President Building. The Hershey Store. Can we go into the Hershey Store? Please, can we go to the Hershey Store? Mom, please. Dad, you're driving. So have you not seen this before? I've seen the pond. This is all yeah, new. but this is all new. Okay, so all of the hardscaping and it all went around because of the pond, right? Yeah. David, my husband has a vision what he wants back here. We're not done yet. A water feature is never done. Did you know that? Well, you know, we had a little pond here before, but David wanted the waterfall and the pond wasn't big enough to uh, accommodate that. And I'm telling you, we have people over a lot more now. We're sort of getting back into having people over. Entertaining. I'd say at least three different times people have said, is this like from a natural spring? Mm -hmm. like, it's the ultimate it's compliment to a builder. Right. See, your dad's got talent. Yeah. yeah. Fire pit, seating wall, and a beautiful aquascape ecosystem water feature. There's just a few little goldfish in it. Some comets down there. So Dustin, could you go ahead and explain, you know, what you went through and how this, this process to build this was? Previous to us coming here, there was a small pond here. It was a, about an eight by 11. We did put new filtration, the aquascape ecosystem on here. And then we also added about a 35 foot stream to it as well. When we first met with the homeowner, they took us to the windows over here at the house and we looked out and decided on how we were going to lay out the waterfall which was the most important thing to them, knowing that they were gonna have the seating area and fire pit. Eventually. Eventually. Mm -hmm. We came in here and I think in about three to four days, built a 16 foot by 16 foot pond with a 35 foot stream. Used probably somewhere around 12 tons of rock or, or 24,000 pounds of rock in this. Wow. And if we were to install this at someone's house, you'd probably look at 25 to $30,000 with lighting, filtration, aquatic plants, the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah, we added driftwood to the to the water feature just to try and naturalize it even more mm -hmm. uh, because of the woodland setting. They often have deer coming and drinking from the water feature, which adds to the enjoyment of them living here as well. Amen. So I see this is Ellie's garden. Mm -hmm. And so the inspiration behind here was based off of a child that yes. you lost. Our daughter Ellie, who she was killed um, the day after she graduated from the University of Miami two years ago in May. My husband, myself, and both of our girls went on a private tour of the Everglades on an airboat. So we were on an airboat while trying to pass a stopped airboat. The driver hit something. I was thrown from the boat before it hit. It hit something and turned over. So my husband David was pinned on one side of the boat with his head above water, but he couldn't move. Our daughter Dana, while falling out of the boat, got caught in a little pocket where the engine is and she got burned. She sustained second and third degree burns on her back, but that saved her life because she had air. And our Ellie um, fell out of the boat face first into the water and the boat fell right on top of her. So until we, even though the water was like this deep, um, until we could get enough people to lift up the boat, we couldn't get her out. So 
she drowned. When we got her out, I, I did CPR on her while we were taken back, back to the shore while David was still stuck under the boat. Um, and then they took her by helicopter and Dana and I by ambulance uh, to the hospital and they did really everything they could and even some things that they probably shouldn't have to try and save her, but she was under water too. Headshots and wow. taking the headshots, they were she, just goofing around and she is your daughter. Comes out. Amen. And what and she had a theater degree, huh? She had a, a bachelor in fine arts and musical theater. So she wow. did what a beautiful singing, girl. Singing, acting, and dancing. Thank you. What a view from inside the house. And the view from inside the house is so important because even outdoor loving people spend most of their time indoors. What an absolutely gorgeous setting. When you have a slope face in the house, that's about as good as it can get. And all the outdoor living spaces that listen to that sound and look out over that. I love how the path just takes you back there. So if you open up the windows, you can hear it from this area of your house, huh? Yeah, just gorgeous. And I love how all the views over overlook Ellie's garden. things that happened after the accident pertaining to the law that we didn't know. There's no supervision of the airboat industry at all. Now there's Ellie's Law, which is just a tiny drop in the bucket to start having more oversight. So uh, you guys went and you were instrumental in working on changing these things. Yes. We um, decided that that was our purpose besides taking care of our other two children. Um, we, we needed to change things as much as we possibly could so that other families didn't have to go through what we did and also to make sure that Ellie's memory and yeah. legacy. Yeah, amen, yeah. amen. And you said that a big inspiration of even moving to this house yeah. was because of the healing. Yeah, you know, there's very little that you can do to make you feel better after something like that. Mm -hmm. We find comfort in nature. I think we've always enjoyed um, hiking and nature. And so this is kind of like the... Yeah, this is, first of all, healing, peace, comfort, but it's also, Ellie loves nature, and her favorite color is purple and blue, so all the flowers in the back oh, are hmm. only purple and blue. Uh-huh. It's all for her, and David planted every single thing. And this is his therapy. Yep. Wow. The therapy on, I get to enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I'll kind of give you a hug. No parent should have to go through that. No, for sure not. Yeah, and you're taking, you're turning that tragedy into a purpose, though, and getting things that are going to be changed for future families not to hopefully go um, through what you went through. Yeah. Through. Well, listen, you're turning your pain into purpose, and I can tell you that we, even the manufacturer of the equipment, we enjoy when people can get, you know, solitude and relaxation. That's oh, something wow. that we create, and. Uh, it's a beautiful property, and Thank I'm you. glad that you're able to find some solace. Thank you. We do, and we love the pond, and everybody that comes. Um, we've started a few arguments between husbands and wives. <laughs> they, yeah, they're going to get their own. <laughs> we want one, we want one. Yeah, everybody <laughs> wants a water feature, they just don't know it yet. Well, thank you for telling your story. I know that that is a challenge for any parent to go through, and I'm glad that you're able to actually impact laws in a, in a helpful way. Well, we're helping. Amen. You know, no parent should have to bury a child, it's been said. If there's tragedy in your life, you need to find a way to heal. And I love how they've turned their pain into purpose with Ellie's Foundation and what they're doing. And the fact that I have customers that can come and create a sanctuary for people, you know, that's what this is all about. It's all about creating a lifestyle. And um, I can't only imagine, I've got two kids of my own losing a child, but you know, what a strong woman, what an amazing family, and what a beautiful water feature. It's a gift. Every day is a gift. Don't ever regret anything. Tomorrow is guaranteed to no one. Live every day like it's your last and uh, enjoy it. Great job, Dreamscapes. I love my job, I love my life, and I hope you do too.